Working is so boring. Wish I could walk or something fun like that. What's, what's that? A remote control? What, what would that even do? That, what's happening right now? What? I'm not. You mean to tell me this treadmill I've been standing on this whole time is a treadmill? been using the standing desk for a while and I use it standing and sitting mostly sitting surprisingly but I do like to stand in the morning and then usually by the time I eat my first meal I raise it down you raise it down I lower it I've heard English words I know some of them so after my first meal I usually don't raise it up again but that speaks more to my own fruitarian laziness than it does to what I should be doing so I figured the next logical upgrade would be to actually walk and get a standing treadmill type thing for the desk. And we got it. So full disclosure here, the company that sent me this desk did a follow up and they're like, you want to try our treadmill? They go hand in hand. <laughs> We've designed it for this. So they sent me this for free. I figured it'd be a fun thing to have. So I'm going to review it today. I make no money off your purchase. I don't give a shit if you want it or not. I'm just, if you're in the market for this kind of thing, I have one. I'm going to review it for you and tell you if it's good enough. I have strict, astringent qualifications for the perfect treadmill. Will it pass? Let's find it. So on the box it says world's smallest treadmill. And they might be right. I'm telling you, if my foot's at the very end of it, I got two feet, not even three feet. It's a very, ow, I clipped my heel with my toenail. Oh, someone sent help. Why do I keep them so sharp? Why don't I ever cut them? So bonus points for being so small and you can flip it up on the side, slide it under your desk. You barely even notice it's there. It's right out of the way. Like that's cool. I like that. It holds up to 254 pounds. They even have a picture of an elephant sitting on one. I'm not saying it's photoshopped, but I don't know how you trained him to do that. And usually they weigh more than 250 pounds, the elephant. It's actually false advertising. They do weigh close to 13,000 pounds, so I'm not calling you misleading, but when the kettle calls it another kettle black, I don't understand the whole metaphor. Bottom line, you can be fat and proud and still lose the weight on this little guy. That's what we're here for. They advertise the noise levels under 70 dB. Now I'm gonna turn it on for, ow, I banged my ankle against the side of the contraption. Oh, I'll never be the same. I'm going to turn it on the slowest setting. Now's with it off. It's ramping up. Can you even hear it? Like it's, it's very quiet until you start walking on it. That's where the noise comes in. That's what I noticed. Like right now, whisper quiet. Then as you put weight on the thing, it starts sliding. So let's turn it up a notch. We're at 15. I feel like I would want it a bit faster. We're at 20. 25. Now I'm saying immediately, there's not much room here. You have one step max. They've made this the shortest level possible. You can't get much, like my heel will, I feel it, it's falling. Help. It's definitely starting to rub on the side now. It couldn't handle the speed increase, neither can my body, physically. Now can you work like this? No. I gotta be 100% honest with you, I find it distracting. Like I thought it would. My girlfriend said, oh, wouldn't that be hard to type? And I was like, no, you just walk and type. What are you, <laughs> come on. I'm not sure I could get a whole lot of actual work done editing videos with these precise movements in the timeline. It's like, while walking, I don't think so. But if you wanna watch a YouTube video or something like that, and you're just walking, that that's where this desk would shine. But like actually concentrating on something and trying not to die, 
maybe don't get the thing. It's not going to help that. I've already injured myself twice. Now call me paranoid, but my biggest concerns were what kind of electromagnetic smog is coming off this thing. So we have to test it. We got to test it. It's not really proven by science to kill you, but it could kill you and your baby. So be, be careful. Okay, let's see. We're already getting readings of danger level in my house for some reason. Why is that? Nobody knows. That can't be good. But so far, so good. That's not great. That's not amazing. Is it any worse? Oh, go oh God. Okay. Don't go near the top. That's for sure. Okay. As long as you're above it, walking like Jesus would, then you're fine. You're fine up here. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how I even feel about it. I could see myself watching videos, but I'm not sure I love it. There's not a ton of space. I can feel my heel hit the very back part. There's little rollers you can feel like it's straight and then there's a roller at each end. You can feel it, it doesn't hurt, but as soon as my heel touches that, I can feel it. It doesn't feel great. It, it is like acupressure in a beneficial way. It's proven to heal liver cancer in three minutes. So that's, it's a benefit, but it's a little strange. And then subjecting yourself to the electromagnetic fields, I'm not a huge fan of that. But if you're not paranoid like I am, and you use a cell phone every day, and you're a freak, links are down below. It depends. Some people really love treadmills, and they love that. I much prefer walking in nature, but if you're stuck here, I can see the benefit of it. And it's so small that it doesn't take up a lot of space in your room, so it's cool. It's just, I don't know that I would use it. I'm already thinking of ways to sell it on the black market. But thank you, Ego Fit. I love it. Truly love it. I will cherish it for the rest of my days. So to sum this thing up, it's tiny. It holds an elephant. A guy looks pretty happy using it while he's working. A woman is showing you that her headaches are gone and her neck pain. Wrist syndrome healed. Waist acne? No, waist ache. People don't get waist acne. That's, that's my own projections. Ignore that. A woman using it as sitting. That's the other thing. Let us try that. So one of the reasons I wanted this was to keep it here while I was seated. Seated? When I'm sitting here, usually it's a little high. You can see the angle here. It should be like that. Not with your shoulders. Your whole body should be up more. So I was thinking, now that we have the foot rest, we raise that up. Then the feet are good. But you can't get any closer because the treadmill's blocking you. You just gotta slide it back with your feet. Oh, the rubber pads, why? Oh, the grip. Oh, my neighbors downstairs are crying. And you slide right on in there. I'll take two. All right, now that I've pushed it back, we're good. This feels good. I'm still probably not, still angling. That's my chair's fault for not being able to go higher. He had small goals in life and he didn't shoot for the stars, but that feels better than it usually does, 100%. But then to use it again, you gotta move the chair out of the way and then slide that thing back. It's not that heavy, it's pretty light. Although, come on now, let's be honest with ourselves. Are you packing those things? Be real with yourself, <laughs> you're not. And if I'm being honest with you, they show her walking while sitting. I just, I think that's stupid, but how do you know until you try it? Okay, I'm now walking. I'm not feeling a lot of benefit from it. Some. I am melting the fat away. I can feel it, but mostly from my brain as it fries me with electromagnetic waves. I can't picture ever doing this, and there's some danger. 
as it slides back, I feel my heels touching the feet of my chair, and I feel like if I wasn't conscious of it, it could push my foot into the thing and slide and break my foot. It could happen. You know what's really annoying? I can't seem to turn it off unless it's in a specific mode. It's showing me the time, like, oh, you've, you've walked for three minutes. Yeah, because you won't shut off. Do you have any idea how much electricity this is costing me? And it's your mistake. It's actually low energy usage. Like 0.5 kilowatts per hour. Something low. I was worried about it, but they convinced me that you'll hardly notice it. It's like a fan, an industrial one that actually cools the air and lightens your room and makes cake. One of those kind of fans. You have one? I want one. I think something was just blocking the sensor. I got a bunch of cords in the way. Once I just moved it a slight bit, maybe I shouldn't have panicked. That's my bad. That's on me on that one. I have to live with myself for that. So links are down below if you want to check it out. I make no money off your purchase. Just if I've sold you on it today, cool. If not, I'm sorry. Ego fit, I tried. It's weird, it's a little weird. I'm just a fan of nature, going out for a long walk, breathing in the fresh air. So trying to replicate that with a machine in your house, it's just not my style, but it's nice that they made them so small now and so compact, so technology has progressed and thank you for letting me sell out again today. I enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Thumb it up if you did. Thumbs down. If you have a flying desk, you have a wing pack, you work out while flying, it's over. Oh, my career is over. Oh, that was, yeah, that's on me. That is on me. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Check out the links down below. Buy a vegetable police t-shirt. <laughs> Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. What have I become?